How y'all doing? Tonight I'm gonna go ahead and start marinating the pork loin for tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of gonna be an Asian style pork loin. Go ahead and put this marinade together. I'll show you how to do it. Alright, let's see. Zoom in here just a little bit. Okay, first I'm gonna put some hoisin sauce in there. Good kind of a Chinese ingredient. I'm gonna put about let's see. Good, maybe a quarter of a cup. Let me go ahead and look more than a quarter of a cup. That always in sauce. Okay. Maybe almost. How much is that? That's half cup. Half cup of oyster sauce. We've got some uh, white wine vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there. Put a couple tablespoons in it. Stir that together a little bit. Add some orange juice. Get this orange juice open. Okay. We do about a half a cup of the orange juice as well. Run that in there. A little bit of sriracha. Sriracha sauce here. It's a little bit for heat. We'll probably put a tablespoon or two in there. Like that sriracha is a really good flavor. And I've got some uh, island teriyaki marinade jar. I'm just put this whole jar. Alright, it's got some sesame seeds in there. Everything. Really good. Okay, so this gives us all uh, about four cups of marinade. We we'll go ahead and pour it over our pork loin. Get the pork one here. Here is the pork one. Yeah, I'll pour it over the pork one. I've got my own crock pot deal. I'm going to put this in the fridge right and we'll let it marinate overnight. Okay, it's the next morning. The pork uh, loin's been marinating all night. And I scooped most of that marinade out of there just now. So you just got a little bit left in the bottom. It was up to like right there, up to the top of the loin. You don't want to sit there and boil this thing in the marinade. What that'll do, it really dry it out. See that boiling water will suck all that marinade out from... Uh, inside uh, of the pork loin just like if you boiled it in water or something so I'm gonna put it on the on the crock pot I'm gonna start off on high for about an hour or so to knock the chill off of it I'm gonna turn it down low and let it go all day okay it's about three in the afternoon now I put it on the pork on here this morning on low before I went to church what I tried to do is turn it over with these tongs and it just fell right apart I mean this tenderloin is that tender I and mean, it's just like pulled pork so what I did is I turned it off I'm gonna let this just sit here and cool in this juice and once that when it starts to cool and not being so hot it's gonna start soaking that juice in so we'll just let it sit there for a few hours okay now that, that pork's been up to sit in that juice for an hour or two and cool down I'm gonna go ahead and take it out separate it from the juice and put in this little uh, plastic and then we're going to take care of that juice and then I'm going to strain that juice off into this uh, measuring cup 
And I got that liquid broth and everything strained off. I'm setting the refrigerator for a little bit. Let some of that fat come on the top where I can separate. Okay, I took this uh, broth out of the refrigerator. I'm going to scoop a little bit of this oil off the top of it. Get that off. And then we're going to put it in this pan. We're going to let it reduce for a minute. Okay, you got the saucepan there. You got about three cups of this liquid. And you pour this in. Bring this to a bowl and we just gonna let it reduce a little bit. Okay, so I got my, my broth there boiling. Reducing with a little stir in there. We're on about, I guess, about medium high heat. Get some water over here getting ready for some rice. Okay, now my sauce has been reducing here for about 30 minutes. I'm going to finish it off here in a minute. We've got about a, um, it's about a quarter cup of this hoisin sauce again. About a cup of this uh, sweet chili sauce. And about a couple tablespoons of the shirachi there. That's going to give it a little heat. It's going to give it a little more sweetness. It's going to give it a little bit more of that, that Chinese flavor. A little bit more salt, a little bit more of a fish kind of a taste. A fish or a duck. But it's going to be really, really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, reduce just for a minute more. And then we'll go ahead and add that stuff. Okay, let's finish this sauce. Let's turn on very, very low heat. Add this, uh, the chili, the sweet chili sauce. About a cup of it. Add the hoisin sauce, which should give it a nice, good earthy taste. That's about a quarter of a cup, I think. And then we'll add a couple tablespoons of the shirachi. Oh yeah, I'll just get a little heat there. We'll stir this together. Make sure that turn up. Twist that in. Now, you go ahead and take this off the heat and let this just settle for a minute. Turn that fire off and we get ready to cook these vegetables. Okay, got my sauce drained off here. Just put it in that measuring cup. I'm gonna go ahead and start my burner. I'm gonna burn. Start this burner again. Get it hot. Get this skillet real hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the skillet. Okay, got this skillet really hot. Some oil on there. A little bit of vegetable oil. Add some of these vegetables in there. Wish I had a wok for this. That'd be the best. We'll go ahead and just saute these, these vegetables for a minute. I'm just gonna make like a little stir fry out here. So let these saute for a couple minutes and come right back to you. Okay, now those vegetables have time to saute there. You go ahead and put some of this meat in. Remember this wonderful pork we had? I let it cool off in the refrigerator a little bit, so we're just gonna put some of this pork in there. Look at that stuff. It's so good. It was so tender, it was just falling apart. I'd love to be able to keep it in this big pieces. It has that wonderful taste to it. You can taste that ginger, the teriyaki, that sesame in there. So we got that pork. Now we'll take some of this sauce that we have. I'm gonna just drizzle that over here. Really, really good. Okay. Turn them down low. I'm just gonna stir this in here and just heat everything about. Just bring everything to a little sizzle. Heat that pork back up. Heat that sauce up. It's gonna be wonderful. I'm telling you what, this is gonna be a heck of a dish. Okay, right when it comes to a little sizzle like this, it's ready. Go ahead and turn the heat off. Oh, 
plate over here. I just want to pork. It's just some really good stuff. I mean, you can see it's got that wonderful thick little sauce on there. Not too thick. Just perfect. We can load up some pork and vegetables. Some of that broccoli on there. some rice on here. Okay, I put a little bit of rice on this deal. I put a little bit of sauce on top of my rice even. Oh, man. Let's give it a taste. I know it's going to be wonderful. Go ahead and try this pork and the vegetables. That is fantastic. I'm telling you what. I gotta try this. Really good. Chinese style pork loin and stir fried vegetables.